Jones going crazy. It's controlled by Colby. Garrett dumps it to the ball, and he threw it away. They threw the ball to Spencer McKee, and immediately Colby turns it over. I don't know if Spencer was looking for it or what. Well, I think what happened is actually Justin Piper split in between the passes, and, and they weren't sure exactly who Garrett was going to. So El Dorado gets the ball in the first opportunity. And it is Stewart for the ball outside top of the key, comes off to Copeland. Here's side of the basketball in the middle. That's Charlie Myers in the corner. Comes off to Hebert on a drive. Free throw line. Outside it comes off to Copeland. Copeland on the near side. El Dorado takes it. Stewart for the ball outside. Colby man to man. With the ball, Myers, top of the key, no score early. By the ball, top of the key on a drive, Stewart from 15, fires it up, it is rolling in there. He is a great shooter and he gets the first two of the game. Aldo in the lead, two to nothing. Piper down, outside shot from Curry, 25, he hit a three! It was a long range three by Piper. Three to two, Colby with the lead. Myers is down, outside to Heber. Left side, they swing it off to Myers. Looking to Stewart, now outside the big guy. Colton's on the drive against John Allen, takes five. Feeds it off down to Hebert, shifts it up, no good. A whistle and a foul, I think, on Garrett Johnson. Johnson gets called for the foul. It will be a shooting foul out of the line will be Hebert for El Dorado. It is a good thing to see that Justin Piper has found his shot. Last night he really did, I mean, he wasn't a huge presence, and tonight this could be his game, although it was defensively. defensively he was the powerhouse of the Eagles last night. Offensively, it was probably Spencer McKee, although at different times, different people stepped up when they needed to. But I tell you, Justin had the three-pointer right there that got us sparked and we're ready to go. He did have one three, uh, no, yeah, one three-pointer, a pitcher in the third and fourth quarter. Last night, Ebert hit the free throw and we're tied at three. McKee in the backcourt got a sensational game in the semis. Same tied at three, McKee down the lane, stops, looks, loses the ball, picked up down low, John Allen, looks, he has reached in and he is fouled by Myers. And the ball was loose on the floor. Fortunately, the Eagles picked it up. And it'll be out of bounds. And the foul was whistled on Charlie Myers of El Dorado. Now, look out there, Dad. It looks as though Jared Johnson might have got a finger in the eye or something. He's a little bit red on the face, blinking his eyes a little bit, like to get the watery eyes, which has been dipped in the eye. So we'll see if that has any effect on it. That's for McKee with a ball outside. High foot of McKee, top of the key, El Dorado. And a... Man to man. Now looks like they're in a 2 3 zone of sorts. McKee takes the 15 footer, lays it down low underneath the shot. No good. Follow, no good. Follow again, no good. The rebound to Heber. Holding out a couple of chances. Just get it down. The game tied at three. 625 left to put here in the first quarter. Outside Heber, they swing it to Myers on the far side. Myers looks inside. Colby man to man. Near side, Stewart puts it over to Heber. Heber looks far side, outside to Myers. Top of that team between the circles. Myers behind the back, dribble to the right side. It's an off to Stewart. Stewart from this side, down low, the ball knocked away, picked up by Jared Johnson. Third over El Dorado, each team has one. A team with the ball to the backcourt, across the timeline. Game is tied at three. Eiffel with the ball, pulls up, down low to John Allen, spins, turns, shoots, and scores! Johnson's got that low block going, and he got it down. My perception that John Allen actually could have a field day tonight if he would just concentrate on getting the shot knocked down. I don't think his defender could play him good enough on the inside and not allow him to have a good game today. Five to three, Colby with a two-point lead, two and outside, gun by Piper, outside, long range, shot no, turn it down, outside, fire, shoots for three, it is missing, and a rebound comes down to Piper. Out comes out to Spencer McKee, the Eagles lead five to three early. Outside McKee with the ball, down low to John Allen, whistle to the foul, is going to the big guy. And if you can see immediately, they want to go to John Allen. Well, that would be the key, I think. They've done it all year. They're not going to change their offense now. The only thing is that John Allen's going to have to be ready to play. And as if you see right now, if you look at him right now, you can tell that he is definitely ready. He went to the pass that time, which sometimes doesn't happen. That's a fundamental thing. And it's good to see that John Allen's got his head screwed on and ready to go tonight. 5-3. Colby out of bounds, out of Jared Johnson to the circle, outside to Piper. Piper top of that team, looking, looking. Al looks into the corner, Jared Johnson. Jared looks outside to Piper. Piper top of that team, thought about the three, didn't do it. Piper on a dribble down, look. It's kind of a matchup zone right now for El Dorado. A 2-3 matchup outside, McKee with the ball, looking. Over the top, down low to John Allen, the ball, he rocks. Down in the corner. Out to McKee. Driving the lane. Puts it. Gives it off to Jared Johnson. Turns it. The lane. Oh! It's the class. Good move by Jared Johnson. El Dorado quickly down the floor. Skip pass on the near side. Into the Chad Lang who just checked into the lineup. 
Lang spins down left side, outside it comes off. Parker Lomlin shot is on the way. Missing the rebound is up. It's boots on the floor. Out of bounds. Kobe had it. It went off the hand of Chad Lang. And the Eagles will have it leading 7-3. The only thing, Dad, that I think the Eagles didn't do exactly perfect last night was their boarding on the defensive end. They weren't able to board on the defense. They allowed uh, Sumner to get to the offensive board, and they've got to cut that down tonight. Special McKee works across the timeline. He goes lead, 7 3. Justin Lane out top of the key to Jared Johnson. Piper on the drive, lays it off for the goal. Yes, he missed it. Rebound comes down and a whistle and a foul is called. And it's going to be on El Dorado. And it's on Heber, who puts off on Justin Lane. Well, this is a good thing. Justin Lane knows just where any time that the shot's put up, he knows that if it's going to be long, I can get on this side. If it's going to be short, I can be over here. And he had himself right in the right position to draw the foul. Lighting to the ball inbounds to Destin Piper, 7-3 Colby. Piper outside Jared Johnson. Johnson now to Piper. Piper. And they want to run a baseline down there. That's what they want to do. We hear Perry on Holly. Hello, Justin Lane. Look. Duke has it blocked away. He wanted a foul call. Didn't get it. Here comes El with the ball. Stewart down the floor on the left side. Pushing down low. The ball is loose. And we're going to have a jump ball. And it'll go to El Dorado. Eagles want the jump, so the Wildcats will have it. Seven three, Colby by four, and El Dorado with the basketball. Three fifty five left in the first quarter. Out of bounds to El Dorado on the baseline. Spencer Stewart the key and inbound. Spencer Stewart gets it in. Fifteen foot short shot is good on the right side by Chad Lang, and it's seven to five. Colby lead is two. A key across the timeline, driving down, feeds it off in the corner. Pfeiffer looked, didn't take the shot. Top of the key, Jared Johnson, swing it to Justin Lane. Right side over the top to John Allen. Then, two to off the glass, it's good. John Allen with a good move in the middle. That, you can tell that was such a power move. John Allen actually gathered the ball to his stomach, and he threw his whole body into that turn and up towards the basket. That's what he's got to do all night tonight. Great job. Hebert for the ball outside Lane, shoots for three. Messed it, tipped around, no good. Hebert rebounds, shoots it up, got it. Hebert's pretty tough inside, and he gets his third point of the game. 9-7, Colby by two. Hyper with the ball outside, and I tell you, El Dorado has decided they cannot go man-to-man -man as it's out of bounds. Colby will still have it. The reason El Dorado is in the zone defense is they cannot match up with John Allen. Well, and they can't match up with our guards, I don't think. I think it's this has cut up a couple times already, and, and so, yeah, they have to go to the zone for John Allen, but I think they can break the zone down, too. I think Colby's got a good enough offense that they're going to keep John Allen right in the right open spot, but if they don't get him, it's going to be the guard. John Allen with the ball in bounds. Throws it in the corner. It's deflected out of bounds. Colby will still have it. Huggins is checked into the lineup for El Dorado. Number 44, Kellen Huggins is into the lineup. And now Colby with the ball outside to Justin Lane. Justin, outside wing. He looks to trap every chance they get. Now get it off to uh, Justin Pfeiffer. 9-7. Colby with the lead. 256. In the corner, down low. John Allen loses it, puts it up. Has it blocked away. Outside to Pfeiffer. Uh, Pfeiffer came up with it. Now gets it out. Spencer McKee for three. Got Spencer McKee with the three. And that's what they'll have to do against that zone. 12-7. Colby by five. In the corner, El Dorado with the ball. Baseline, long range shot is up. It is missing down low. All the Eagles hit the deck. John Allen driving in the lane. Lang down low underneath the shot is up and good by Huggins on the baseline. 12 to 11. For the check, it's 12 to 9. 12 to 9, Colby by three. Outside, McKee on the drive. Looks outside of John Allen. Left side, Justin Lane with the ball. Justin looks. Has the ball knocked away. Piper outside, firing for three. Messing off the glass, so good. The rebound to Heber. Out comes off to Stewart. Alderman with a chance to tie on a three. Stewart outside, pulls the trigger, and got it. He'll hit that three, I'll tell you. He is a great shooter in the game. He's tied at 12 with 156 left in the quarter. A key across the timeline for Colby to Jared Johnson. Jared looking outside. Two of the losses for El Dorado were to the 5-18 team McPherson. They were the finals at 5-8 tonight. Lane outside, backs up on the middle, now to Piper. And the 141 left, Piper with the ball between the circles. El Dorado now looks right there, man to man. Looking, looking, Jared Johnson on the drive. Look, kicks it outside, Piper on the drive down. Underneath, lays it up, got it! Great move by Justin Piper to the hole. The thing with that move, Justin, Justin has got such a vertical rope. He's able to get up in the sky and even the big man, and that's something that will help him on his drive like that. He knew that he was going to have to get up to get it onto the 
Came out to the backboard, and he did just that. Jared Johnson just got called for a foul on the baseline. Josh Lee is going to check in for Colby at the 113 mark. 14-12 to the score. Colby by two. That foul was on Jared Johnson, his second. So Johnson with his second foul. And it's the second team foul. Josh Lee checks in. Stewart checks out of the lineup, into the lineup. Charlie Myers. And it comes outside to Myers. Way outside near the half court line. Myers against the key. Myers looking to the right side, looking. Marks out of the floor. Comes off to Casey McBride. And the ball spinning loose. Stop traveling called on Hawkins. In the lane, a turnover for El Dorado. There's second. And the ball comes back to Colby, and the Eagles lead by two, 14 to 12. Dad, I think Huggins is the one that Marriott was just a little bit worried about because he is a hot man. He's going to go in there, and he's going to take it to you. So John Allen's going to have to be careful along with Josh Lee. A key outside of the ball, now that's John Allen. John Allen drives, pulls up 15 foot. Good John Allen. Now he missed too many of those 12 or 13 footers, but he did that time, and he hit it. 16, 12, Colby by four. Play the basketball, Copeland. And Hawkins are both on the floor now for El Dorado. Outside of the basketball, the Wildcat. Baseline drive, the shot is up. It's still good, but Justin Lane found it in the corner. And it'll be Justin's first foul. It'll be a shooting foul for McBride. Dad, you really don't want to think about this right now, but it seems as though the Eagles might be just slightly fatigued. And I'm looking more at Sean Allen, although playing is still very strong. If you watch him, we're just running up and down the court. He doesn't seem to be as quick as he normally is. And so I'm sure that this could be in the third game in just three days. You're going to be really, really tired. And this is something that might affect him cut down the stretch at the end of this game. Could affect El Dorado, too. As McBride misses the first and the second. And John Allen clears the board for the Eagles. Here comes Benjamin D across the timeline. Colby up 15 to 12. Outside, Justin Lane. We're down to 19 seconds left in the quarter. Outside, John Allen looking out of Spencer McKee. Now to Dustin Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer back to the McKee. 11 seconds. Spencer on the ball on the drive. Dribbles down to the lane. Stop. Pulls up. Just blocked away by Huggins. Hits it out. Four seconds to go. They're going to score. McBride lost the ball. McBride lost the ball out of bounds. I don't know if he thought about it too much or what. But Huggins lost the ball out of bounds. He had a breakaway layup and just lost it out of his hand. Well, that's something to think. You just want to keep yourself in the tail for You have the opportunity to get within two and you can't do it. That was a long pass by John Allen as they're trying to go to Justin Lane. Into the first quarter of the deal with that score. Colby 16, El Dorado 12. You're listening to Eagle Basketball to stick a one-minute timeout. Basketball, the biggest lead in the first quarter was five. They now lead by four. McKee with the ball as they go back to work outside Piper. 16 to 12. Colby John Allen with the basketball. Then looks, shoots it off the glass wall. Justin Lane offensive rebound, puts it back. Didn't get it. Rebound loose, out of bounds, and Colby will still have it off of El Dorado. Well, those are two chip shots you really wish you weren't missing. It's a good thing that, that really Justin Lane was there to get the offensive board, and then he wasn't able to knock it down, and, and they actually tipped it out of bounds. John Allen is full with the inbound pass in the basket, and John Allen with eight points in the game. 18 to 12, Stewart for the basketball, guarded by Parker. Stewart left side to Myers. Myers in the corner, guarded by McKee. Way outside, Copeland. Now top of the key to Stewart. Stewart looking on the dribble down. Going one-on-one right side, it comes off to Hebert. Hebert outside to Copeland, top of the key. Copeland looking on a drive against John Allen. Looking down low, shoots it up bad, out of bounds. And it's off to it, out of bounds to Colby. Yeah, the big thing with that play is Jared Johnson. If you think that, that uh, the big guy for them is a hop, Jared Johnson's a hop for the Eagles. And he stood there and he made that like a brick wall because the big guy hit him and bounced backwards and shot with an air ball. 18 to 12, Colby leads by six in the ball. Outside, Johnson, left side lane on the wing. Justin looks inside, loses the ball, and it's out of bounds. Colby will still have it. Knocked out of bounds by McBride. 18 to 12, Eagles lead by six in the State 4A Championship in Salina. Not since 1980 as a Kansas 4A team won a state championship. And John Allen did not get the ball inside. It's turned over. Back comes El Dorado with the ball. 18-12, Stewart, top of the key, Hebert. Right side, McBride. 
McBride looks inside to Myers. Kicks it out to Colson. Way on the wing. Got it by John Adam. Lost it. And it's loose. And it's still loose. It's still loose. And John Adam picks it up in the backcourt. Couple of players down on the floor. And here comes Colby with the ball. McKee outside of John Adam. Smith goes right side back to McKee. McKee outside to Piper. Top of the key. Alderweireld back man to man now. Out of Justin Lane. Turns in the lane. Shoots it up. He got it. What a shot by Justin Lane. Oh, what a shot. Yes, Justin Lane is the only individual that could actually be copied to two players. Throw it in the roundhouse. Get it up off the backboard and get it to fall down. The foul is on number 42, McBride. I don't know how Justin split those two guys and then just spun it off the glass. 20 to 12, Colby's biggest lead at eight in the game. El Dorado scoreless here in the second quarter. Shot is in and out, no good. He's an 83% free throw shooter, missed that one. Down the floor quickly. Myers with the ball outside to Huggins, who's checked back in. Out of McBride. McBride outside to Myers. Myers guarded by McGee. Air side that comes off the Hebert outside Huggins in the circle. Huggins guarded by John Allen. Now McBride outside Myers. Stewart far side. Stewart looking, driving down on the lane. Lays it up. He got the roll. Nice move by Stewart. Spencer now with seven in the game. Piper the other way quickly. Driving, holds up, lost it. And a timeout. Nope. Jump ball out of bounds to Eldorado. Dustin lost his balance. Fell down and got tied up 20 to 14. Colby turnover number three. Well, that really wasn't a bad thought. He was going to catch to the baseline and make it a nice play. Just must have got caught on a little bit of wetness or something. Flip the fell. Outside of the ball. Huggins held the down by six over the top. To Hebert shot is up. It's three bucks. Tips around. No good. Underneath the shot. What? Whistle. Foul. John Allen. He had it, but they're going to call him for a foul. Now, this is the thing that's going to get all the Colts fans frustrated. Justin Piper knows he can stand there and take a charge. And I think that's exactly what he did. They didn't call it. They let the play go on for a little bit longer. John Allen stuck him on his shot, and they called the foul. Now the young man's going to the line for a free throw. 20 to 14. Hubert at the line is one for two. Mack at two out of three as he hits the free throw. Coach Curry out hollering something to Jared Johnson. Shot on the way is... No good, it's John Allen rebound. 20 to 15, the Eagle lead is five. Biggest lead of the game has been eight. Off the timeline, Spencer guarded by Stewart. McKee looking outside of Jared Johnson. Jared far side to Justin Lane. Lane on the drive has it stripped away by Spencer Stewart. Stewart with the ball as Colby gives it up. Eldorado Stewart outside, driving to the lane, kicks it out to Myers. Myers in the circle, backs up on the dribble, looking. Looking outside now comes off to McBride. Find the back. 15 footer McBride is on the way. It's no good. Bristol. And we're going to have a jump ball. And John Allen went up high. And John Allen thought it could have been a foul. He's a little upset. It'll be Colby Ball. Well, I think it could have easily been an over the back call. And they did call it. It looks so bad. They're going to let him play a little bit here tonight. So the Colts have got. Eagles have got to adjust and play just physical as El Dorado. And really, Colby normally likes a physical game. McKee breaks the timeline. 20 to 15. Spencer with the ball brings it back out. Out of Piper. Fires for three. It is missing. Dips around. John Allen rebound. Turn underneath to Jared Johnson. Puts it up. Good. Let's see. He got the basket. John Allen with the foul. Let's see. No basket. Travel with the ball. And the Colby crowd will not like it. It's the that is Coach something. Perry out was not like that call. That I am amazed, actually, that he went and did that. I am surprised that they didn't go to the referee that was down there close to, to the play to see what actually happened. I am surprised with that. Man, oh man, oh man. He was 30 feet away from the play. Stewart with the ball could nullify the basket. 20 to 15. Outside Huggins with the ball now to McBride. Out of the key to Stewart, face, shoots up the 10-footer, it is good. Stewart is a solid player, folks. 20 to 17, Colby lead is three. Spencer McKee down, 4-12 to play. McKee outside to Justin Piper. Piper on the dribble outside, looking. Guarded by Lang, who's in the lineup now. To McKee, now to Justin Lane. Justin driving down, look, hooks it up, no good, he is fouled. 
Justin taking it to the hole. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, Justin knows that when he when he drives to the lane, he's going to go up for a shot. That his shot has got to be kind of towards the defender to draw the body foul and nothing else. Because the referees, like I said, are going to let him play. They're not going to call the arm foul. It's going to be the body foul. Fifth foul of the game as Josh Lee getting ready to check in. Lane free throws up and it is good. Rolled around and down. 21-17, Colby's biggest lead has been eight. They now lead by four. Jared Johnson checks out as Josh Lee checks in. Four minutes left in the first half. Shot on the way, good. By Justin Lane, and it's 22-17, Colby by five. Stewart across the timeline against Piper. Out of Hebert, looks inside to Huggins. Gives it outside. To McBride, McBride in the corner to Huggins, guarded by John Ellis. Down low, outside it comes to Lang, top of the key to Hebert, down low. Underneath the shot by Spencer is good off the glass. He is six in the quarter and 11 in the game. 22 to 19, Colby leads by three. Piper with the ball outside to Josh Lee. Josh looking out of Piper, we're down to 325 left. Spencer McKee driving down, underneath, Brooks threw it outside to a key baseline, baseline shot by Spencer is up, no good, Huggins rebound. Held in with the ball, down by three, 22-19. Spencer with a basketball outside in the corner, to Lang. Lang looking, out of McBride, McBride looking inside, can't find anybody, now to Spencer Stewart, who has been bruised outside, struggling again. Piper, far side of the floor, looking, driving over the top to Hebert, Hebert spins. Lost the ball, kicked it out. They thought it should have been a three. Ball range, good oh, by three by Spencer Stokes. Is he, is he incredible or what? That keeps Rock from just about to play. The thing that they're going to have to catch up is that actually Dustin is allowing him to catch the ball. He cannot do that. He can't catch the ball. All right. 22 22. Spencer Stewart has 14 in the first half. Copeland is in. Hebert out. For Colby, we're going to have a timeout. 2.36 to go. Timeout. Point. Justin Lane on a drive down, shoots it up, no good. He is fouled, he'll go to the line. Justin Lane, I think, has made the decision. I'm going to take it to the hole every chance I get. Well, he should, and especially against Higgins, because as you saw, this has happened the third time in a row now. Higgins is not going to stand straight up a block the shot. He's going to spring at you, he's going to swat at you. And if you go into him like, like Justin just did, you're going to draw the foul. And if we can get him to sit down, that'll be a plus. Lane of the line to shoot the free throw, good. Justin now with five in the game ball in this corner. Looking for another one. He was silent in the first eight minutes. 23-22, Colby by one. Shot is on the way. Good. And the Eagles lead by two, 24-22. Off the timeline. Stewart is checked out of Atlanta. He has been outstanding for El Dorado. Outside, Copeland down low. The ball knocked away by John Allen out of bounds. Justin Lane went flying out of bounds, 50 feet to try to stay underneath the basket. Well, he knew that there probably wasn't a chance at all, but to give that effort is something that's nice to see. Michael Sandler is into the Colby lineup, and I think, let's see who checks out. Josh Lee will sit down. Garrett Johnson and Josh Lee on the bench. Hebert checks back into the lineup, looking to get an inbound, does to Stewart. And he almost sprained his ankle. 24-22. He winces a little bit. He almost traveled with the ball, too. Down low to Copeland. Copeland kicks into the corner. Myers for three. He got in the corner. Myers, who can also shoot the three, has his first three of the game. And it's 25-24 El Dorado by one. Piper outside thought about it. 
Down low, John Allen kicks it outside. McKee for three. Got Spencer McKee answers the call. His three-pointer, second of the game. 27-25, Colby by two. Outside, Hebert on a drive into the lane. Down low, no, it's an offensive foul. Good position by Spencer McKee. That is not different. Justin Piper, both of those two have such a good thing, even just playing. And when you step into the lane, if a guy's driving, step in there, you stand still to take the charge. It's only going to hurt for a few seconds. Well, they did it. 27-25, and Colby will have them all. McKee in the backcourt, guarded by Spencer Stewart. Stewart on McKee, Spencer breaks the timeline to Sadler. Michael on the left side, outside of Justin Lane. Swing it, to down low, and then John Allen. Whistle and a foul, I think, on Ebert. Ebert picks up a foul for El Dorado. And that could be trouble at this second, I think. 129, but that is already the eighth foul, and John Allen on the line to shoot free throws. Last night, he... Did real well in the fourth quarter as he hit one, two, three, four, six out of eight in the fourth quarter last night. Well, Dad, this is a good thing that even though there's only a minute and a half left in the half, if we can get ourselves to the free throw line, shooting free throws, because we are such a good free throw shooting team, that will help us. Every one or two points is going to make a difference come down the stretch. John out of the line. Perfect. Great rotation on the shot. Drops it off. And John Allen with his ninth point of the game looking for number 10. 28-25, Colby by three. Alloreno led briefly by one. 25-24, but now the Eagles have come back with five unanswered points. Stewart with the ball outside on a drive into the corner. Delang now gets it outside to Myers. Myers down low as the ball stripped away. Whoop, on the floor, it'll be out of bounds. Justin Lane saved the basket right there. He did, and that's the thing that they're going to have to be aware of. The Colby guards, they're going to have to drop off. See, this is a hard thing. El Dorado has so many good assets, just like the Eagles do. If an Eagles uh, guard tries to drop in and steal the ball from the big man, they're, big, they're outside shooters to shoot the ball. So it's going to be tough. Stewart with the ball against Piper. Dyer's up the shot. Oh, the glass is good. Oh, good. I don't know how he made the shot. 29-27. Off glass, folks. He didn't even call. 58 seconds to go. Right side, Colby by two. Now, hello, John Allen. Spin, look, shoots it up. Go! John Allen waiting for the big guy to make his move. He went by him, and then he put him in. Well, John Allen knows he thinks he's going to jump on his first. Even look towards the back. It's so good at three months to do. Chad Lang got loose down low and got a bucket. 35 seconds, 31 29. Colby leads by two, and the Eagles are going for the final shot of the half. Outside, Justin Lane to punch. Swing it left side to Josh Lee, who checks back in for Michael Sabbath. Josh on the dribble outside, looking, looking for help. Now to Justin Lane, and El Dorado plays about as good a defense as Colby does, I think. Pfeiffer outside, now to McKee. Spencer down to 13 seconds against Chad Lang. Spencer McKee outside between the circles on the dribble. Cross over, drives into the lane, kicks it off. Josh Lee, 15 footer, short, dips around, no good, out of bounds. And it will be El Dorado ball, I think. With 2.8 seconds to go, a Wildcats will have it down by two. It was just that Spencer was not, you know, so selfish or whatever, but I think he probably could have taken the shot. He just may have nobody came to, to pick him up. Should have went ahead and shot the five footer. Some of our broadcast sponsors tonight include. Commercial Train Company, Bruce Sandy, he was here today, I saw him. They've been serving on front Kansas for over 25 years, but it's your sign you want. One design to one painted. Contact Commercial Sign. Also, when it comes to buying or selling your real estate, Horizon Realty. Our band camp at the staff will take care of you. Give them a call whether you're buying or selling. Looking for a home, want to find a buyer, or you want to buy one. Contact Horizon Realty. Elevator with a ball, 31-29. Colby leads by two. John Allen putting the pressure on the guy, putting the ball in bounds. Spencer knocked the ball out. It'll still be El Dorado ball, 2.1 seconds left. Copeland put the ball in bounds. Looking, looking. Down low. Ball is tipped around. Blue shot up. No good. That's the half time. Half time is here at the Bicentennial Center. Well, that probably is, and you know, you're only up by two. I'm sure that down there in the locker room, 
just saying we pretty much played our game, really. I don't think that they've done anything that seems to be too bad other than the seven turnovers. Maybe take care of the ball just a little bit better. The first one was right off the tip. We lost the ball on the on the uh, tip-off, and we had possession of it. We threw it away. We weren't careful with what we were doing. and so. But otherwise, I think it's been exceptionally well. They've taken the ball inside to John Allen several times, which has made a difference. I think our guards are going to have to be aware of Spencer. And I can't think of his name. Stewart. Guy, Stewart uh, off of El Dorado. He pretty much is their team, if you think about it. He's, I don't know what his point percentage is right now or what he's shot, but he seems to be what pretty much runs their team. He's their point guard. He's supposed to be, but he can shoot the rock in about a second, so they're going to have to make sure that he doesn't touch the ball. Well, I'll tell you what he shot. Seven out of seven in the first half. Five for five, two-pointers. Two for two, three-point line. He's played what I would say probably you could consider a perfect game. Well, it's Stewart with the ball, guarded by Piper outside. The problem with not letting him have the ball is that he's the point guard. And he looked for a back door to get it outside to Copeland. Copeland looking down to Spencer Stewart, guarded by Piper on the right side. Stewart driving into the lane, pulls up, and almost lost the ball. A collided heads, I think. Outside shot is missing by McBride or the check at Myers. Outside to Stewart now. Stewart driving down to the lane, and he lost the ball. Wanted to go up and shoot it. Maybe Piper deflected it. I don't know. Dustin down. Outside looking. Outside of Jared Johnson. Right side of Justin Lane. Colby leads by two in the ball. After the Eldorado turnover. That is their seventh of the game. Outside of the circle to Jared Johnson. Colby paints it down low. John Allen spins. Look. Shoots it up. Didn't get it. It was off the bottom of the iron, actually. And a rebound to Eldorado. Stewart with the ball. Down low. Baseline to Hebert. Almost walked with it. Down in the corner. McBride from 15. Got it. No, it's the three-pointer by McBride. Casey McBride's first basket of the game. El Dorado leads by one, 32-31. McKee with the ball outside, looking out of Jared Johnson. Jared looking, looking top of the key, out of Spencer McKee. Colby down, 32-31. On a McBride three-pointer, now to Piper. Piper looking, free throw line, Jared Johnson, out of Spencer McKee, down low, John Allen. Outside Piper, thought about the three, didn't do it. Out of Justin Lane in the lane, now down low. John Allen looks. Puts it up, Bill Good, let's see. A foul is going to be called on James Copeland. Copeland with a foul. It'll be a shooting foul for John Allen. He's been open a couple of times down there. The first time he shot it off the bottom of the rim, this time he'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, when John Allen catches the ball inside, really, he's really good about knowing where his defender's at. He moves, makes his move the opposite of where his defender is, but he's going to have to go with just a little bit more authority. He's allowing... Too many of the young guys get a handle on the ball, and he's not able to get his shot off. Missed the free throw, first one of the game. This one's up, it's long, too. And the rebound to Hebert, he's 0 for 2 and a half, 2 for 4 in the game. 32-31, El Dorado is never led by more than two. Hebert with the ball, to McBride in the corner. Down low, threw the ball away, it'll be out of bounds. Colby will have it, and El Dorado turns it over. Well, that could be a critical turnover. Now the Eagles have got to get the ball, get it down here, run their offense, capitalize on it, get the easy bucket. A key across the timeline for Colby, 32-31, Colby down by one. It was in 1970 that Colby had a lot of patience against the Russell team that led most of the way. In the second half, there's Justin Lane from 15. Got it! Justin Lane with a basket, and let's see if the foul is on who. Foul is on, I think, El Dorado. A basket's going to be good by Justin Lane, 33-32, and the foul is on El Dorado. Well, I'm not exactly for sure who he fouled, but he must have shoved somebody got underneath there wanting to go for a rebound. McBride's third foul of the game. The first team foul. The Eagles lead by one underneath. Jared Johnson has the ball blocked away, and John Allen with a foul, reaching in. Jared Johnson, as Coach Perry, I said, you got to be strong to get into the ball. Something that's surprising to me is that Jared Johnson didn't give the fake. He usually does. He usually gives an excellent fake. He's everybody up off the ground and then goes to the basket. I'm surprised he didn't do it that time. Holy turnover, and John Allen got the foul. His second outside is Myers, top of the key to Copeland. Copeland looks inside to Hebert, outside down low, underneath the shot off the glass. Missing, ball is loose, run down by McBride. Outside to Copeland on the wing. Down low, underneath the whistle, and a foul, I think, on Jared Johnson. Jared's going to get his third personal foul of the game. Well, I'm not for sure he knew exactly what he did. He's looking at Perry. I'm trying to get some instructions, but Perry, I'm not for sure what he did either. 
33-32, Colby by one with five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Spencer Stewart inbounds outside to Myers. Myers down low to Copeland. Now to Spencer Stewart. Outside, shoots for three. Got it. He is an incredible shooter. I mean, Justin Pipe is right on him, and he still shoots over it. McKee on the drive. Now looks down low. John Adams spins. Shoots it. Oh! Five, 35, James Myers. Heber, right side of the surprise. Myers, top to keep Heber for three. Got it! Heber to three. A play of the 14 can shoot the three. If we don't look out, you got to keep guiding the entire game. Right side lane for the ball. 38, 35, El Dorado. Piper outside looking out of John Allen. John Allen spins. Loose the ball. Whistle, that called El Dorado with the ball. John Allen kind of laughed at him because John Allen already lost the ball. Yeah, that was a little bit late college. And he knew that either way it was going to prove that they were going to trip it up and it was going to be a track And so he knew that he lost the ball no matter what, but he just kind of laughed at the referee. We're at the same point in the game as we were last night, down by three. And the Eagles are going to have to belly up here and really play the D and be patient on offense. Myers down low to Huggins underneath. Shoots it up and in. Huggins with the basket. And El Dorito with the biggest lead of the game. 40 to 35. El Dorito outside. Piper with the ball. Looking out of Spencer McKee. Spencer to your side of Justin Ray. Justin outside of Jared Johnson. Cold and patient. Johnson looking. Our side threw the ball away. Colby with a turnover. They might want a timeout here. In the corner, driving down, looking outside, taken away by McKee. Turnover. Now, on the floor comes Spencer. In the lane, gives it off to Justin Lane, layup shot. No good, he missed it off the glass. Rebound to El Dorado. Maybe not quite the pitch that he wanted there. 356 left. Spencer Stewart outside, left side to Myers. Myers looking on the wing, top of the key to Huggins. Huggins down low, the ball knocked away by Jared Johnson. Now to Spencer McKee. McKee on the right side of the drive. Right side holds up, looking. Holden wants a timeout. They want to talk about it. The score is El Dorado 40, Colton 35. We'll take a one-minute timeout. You're listening to Eagle Basketball. Center as the ball comes in bounds for Colby. Spencer McKee in the backcourt, guarded by Spencer Stewart. Right side, Justin Piper. Piper with the ball outside to Justin Lane. 15 foot of Justin has up. Hit the hit. Oh! Justin with the roll. 40 to 37, a big bucket. Stewart on the drive down outside. It jumps into Lang. Lang has the ball knocked away. It's loose and picked up. No. Lang went for it to get it. Now to Lang. He left the hustle down. It's out of bounds. Threw it away. El Dorado with a turnover, Colby with a ball racket. Justin Lane went flying and just sliding like he was sliding in the third day. Yeah, he went first from the opposite end of the court, the corner, to this end of the court, half half court, within just a couple of seconds to get the ball just as much as he can get it. Justin Lane in the corner, Jared Justin big fly. Piper, 40 to 37, Colby down by three of the ball. Justin looks for help. And about pass to Jared Johnson. Or the second Justin Lane. Johnson lost the ball. Now gets it off to Spencer McKee. That's to Jared Johnson. Jared outside is Piper. Piper down low. John Allen spins. Look. Shoots it up. Has it knocked away. John Allen wanted a foul call. There was none. Stewart for the ball. 
Outside against Piper, 40 to 37, El Dorado. Outside of the ball, moving, fires, looking down low. John Allen knocks it away. Stolen away by Jared Johnson. For the second, Justin Lane. What a great job that John Allen got defensively. Well, he has got a great job, and I'm talking about he's getting in there because he's coming up with some great moves, and they're not giving him anything. There's a reaching foul on who? El Dorado gets called for a foul, and I think it's going to be on Charlie Myers. That's his second. It is the team's third foul. Into the lineup, McBride. He has three Myers. To check that. McKee to key it in. Two twelve to go. In the third quarter. 40 to 37, El Dorado by three. And well, underneath the Justin Lane laid it up. Great catch going past the lane, and it's a one-point game, 40 to 39. El Dorado with the ball, the Wildcat. Biggest lead, big five. Stewart gives it off the lane, got it by McKee. Lang on the middle outside. Spencer, beat Spencer, kicks it outside to Stewart. Stewart on the dribble, down baseline, whistle, and he was out of bounds. Piper's already halfway down the floor. That's because he knew that his defense caught that turnover. He knew that Spencer stepped up and out of bounds line, and he was heading back this way. Holding with the ball and a chance to take the lead. They were down by five. Their biggest lead has been eight. And right now, the Eagles trying to recapture the lead. Left side, down low to John Allen. Rookie kicks it into the ball and steps to the key. Piper down low to John Allen. Turn. Shoot. Blocked away by Huggins. Huggins blocked the jump by John Allen. And he did a good job that time with the block. Outside. Spencer Stewart for the ball for El Dorado. 124 left in the third. Right side, the ball is out of bounds. It's off the side. Turn over El Dorado. Good defense by Justin Lane. It was good defense. And the thing with John Allen that he's going to have to do now, Spencer kind of telling him, either most of the time that he knows that he's going to do his job, or if he's going to go to the side, he's going to go to the side, not the best way to uh, short shot. All right, outside, Jared Johnson with the ball. Now to Piper. Piper looking outside of John Allen. Only run a little motion off of Jared Johnson. In the lane, Justin Lane gives off to John Allen in the wing. Outside, Piper thought about it, didn't do it. Out of the key on the right side. Spencer on a drive into the lane, kicks it outside. Piper for three. Piper! I could have thrown that one before it got there. 42 points. Cold three by two. Outside. Heber, right side to Lang. Lang the point to Huggins. Huggins, straight line, right side. Outside to Spencer Stewart. Guarded by Piper, outside Lang. Lang looking, and a whip. Ball loose, Lang in the dribble. Outside, long range three is up, it is. No good, Huggins rebound, down low, underneath, shoots it up, missed it. But Huggins will go to the line, and John Allen got his third foul. The thing that John Allen's gonna have to do, he's gonna have to think now. He's a little bit frustrated, and we're gonna get the substitution here, which is a good thing. But I tell you, he's got to think when he's in there. He's got to know that Hudson's first ball is gonna get him in the air because he knows John Allen is gonna swat at the ball. John Allen's gonna stay on his feet and go with Hudson's third. All right, Huggins is at the line. He's a reserve at six foot five, six foot. They throw Huggins is up, it's short off the iron missing. Three throws are gonna be final here in this fourth quarter. 42-40, Colby leads by two. Looking for a state championship as John Allen comes to the bench for three fouls. Couple of good things here. He gets the rest. He'll go right back in the start before it. But he'll be here for a good minute, two minutes to get a breather. Huggins will have another one. Down on the way by Huggins. There's good. He got that one. 42-41, El Laredo. Down by one. Colby with the ball. Jared Johnson to McGee. Spencer works it up. A little zone defense. Spencer lost the ball, got it back. Here's it off to Justin Lane. Justin outside, looks back to Spencer, 12 seconds. Here we go for the final shot of the corner. McKee outside on the dribble, guarded by McBride. Spencer down in the corner, Piper firing for three. Got it! In the corner for three! Piper with his second three in a row! There's the ball, got it, so good! And into the third quarter is here! Colt, four, five!
As we go to work, McKee in the background, Colby has the ball. Piper outside, shoots for three, missed it. Rebound to El Dorado. Here come the Wildcats, down by four, 45-41. Spencer Stewart does not score, but one three in the third quarter. Right and down, shot blocked by John Allen. Down low, Huggins underneath, shoots it up, blocked away. Wait a minute, they're going to call a foul on John Allen. Looks like a great block. Well, you knew that somewhere in there they weren't going to let it happen. They were not going to let him get two blocks in a row without calling stuff. Now he's got four fouls. Now, this can make a difference. He's going to have to come out now. Josh Lee is getting ready to check in. And Josh Lee's going to have to play about two times bigger than what he is. Man to handle, and let's they switch him and Garrett Johnson. Because Huggins is such a big boy in there. He makes a big presence to side. A plan with Huggins and Copeland both on the floor at 6'6". Six, six. Josh Lee is in at 6'4", and Jared, uh, John Allen checks out at the 736 point. Huggins next one is up, it is good. So he's three out of four at the line, Colby leads it two, and Colby may want to go and uh, sit on it a little bit right now, we'll see. Ivo with the ball, they may want to try to trap outside the key with the ball. Spencer backs up. El Dorado man to man. McKee outside, far side to John Ad, Josh Lee. Josh Lee at the top of the key to Jared Johnson. Threw the ball away. Turnover. As Lang comes up with it. Costly turnover didn't take care of the ball. Outside, McBride fires for three. It's Missy. Huggins rebounds up and in on the offensive board. Huggins has hurt the Eagles on the inside. Game tied at 45. On the offensive rebound, Colby needs a basket. Spencer the key outside, guarded by Spencer Stewart. Out of punch, guarded by Lang. Jared Johnson, top of the key, right side. Allen, Jared, uh, and Justin Lane threw it away. Two consecutive Colby turnovers. Yeah, this is really going to hurt him. This may make the difference in the game. When you only have six and a half minutes left and you're tied, you cannot afford to make any kind of a turnover. Good passes have to be going to a place where you know that there's a uh, teammate there. El Dorado with the ball. Four unanswered points to start the fourth quarter. It's tied the game at 45. Stewart with the ball to McBride on the wing left side. McBride back to a pass to Hebert underneath. Lays it up off the glass. Got a fifth match. Hebert got underneath. Laid it in. His ninth point of the game. 47-45. El Dorado by two. Here's right Pike with the ball. The deep. Dustin Wood on the middle now to McKee outside. Spencer Wood now gives off to Jared Johnson. Now to Dustin Pike. Piper looking now to Josh Lee. Lee moves the ball. Right side, McKee looks, sticks it outside. Piper, Josh Lee, 15 footers up. It is no good. Even rebounds for El Dorado. Here come the Wildcats. Up by two in the ball. We're down to 555 left in the game. El Dorado by two. Outside McBride with the ball. Out of Hebert, down low, Spencer Stewart, misses, rebound to Justin Lane, that's his first big shot of the game for Spencer Stewart. Spencer McKee with the ball for Colby. Off the timeline, he goes down by two. Spencer breaks the timeline, out of John Lee. Lay on the dribble against Huggins, down low, Justin Lane shoots it up. Oh good, he is fouled, I think. And let's see if it's on the floor, or the, for the shot, or on the shot. I'll feel too, too. Yeah, this is the key right here. They found out now that they're going to have to use Justin Lane that's going to have to post up on the inside. The man is guarding and Justin Lane can manhandle actually. He's a little bit shorter, but he's a little side in there and makes a man foul and he can go to free throw line. He's an excellent free throw shooter. Post up Justin Lane, get in the ball, let him take it to the hole. 47 46, Lane hits the free throw. Justin, 83% for the year. This one's on the way. Count it. And the game is tied at 47. 5.8 to go on 100.3 KQLS. Colby, Kansas. It is the 4A state championship. El Dorado and Colby with the ball. Fires outside, guarded by McKee. Top of the key, it comes off to McBride. Out of Spencer Stewart. Stewart outside, the bring the leg dribble against Piper. Stewart backs up, now left side, it comes off to McBride. On the dribble, outside to Huggins. Huggins, right side to Myers. El Dorado takes it, five minutes left in the game. Myers backs up outside to Spencer Stewart. 
still is guarded by Thompson. On a drive into the lane, pull up shot is, no good. Rebound is, takes it down. It's loose to Garrett Johnson, picks it up. So Spencer still has missed his last two shot from the field. Spencer McKee to the left side to punch it. Down low underneath. And it'll be out of bounds on who? Colby will have it out. The foul is on. After 42, Casey McBride. His fourth. Four forty left in this championship tilt. 47 47. McKee with the ball bounded in now. Looking way outside to Dustin Pipe. Pipe with the ball. Looking. El Dorado. Looks like they're going to go to a 3 2 zone on the out of bounds play. A key outside, top of the key. In the corner, Josh Lee looking. Josh looks, skips it outside to Spencer the key. Spencer looking, looking, skip pass in the corner to Josh Lee outside to Piper. Piper outside, McKee fires for three. Missed it. Rebound is loose. Loose, Josh Lee got it. Josh Lee outside, Piper for three. Missed it. And the rebound is on. Finally taken down by Spencer Stewart. 47 all, and John Adams back to the bench. Four minutes left of the game. Left side with the ball, McBride. For El Dorado, game tied at 47. Now to Myers. Whistle, and a foul, I think, on Huggins. It's Justin Lane. Hits back. Those two in there got a battling big time in there. Justin Lane, I'm surprised he's still able to go as much as he is to get there. We're him over on the inside. But he's going to let you know that he's not going to quit, not for anything in the world. A ball will be out of bounds for Colby on the turnover. The foul was on number 40, actually. Nathan Hebert, that's his fifth. I thought it was on Huggins. Hebert is out of the game. That's a big foul at the 353 mark. Hebert is gone. Well, this is a plus for the Eagles, although we still have to contend with Huggins and their big man. And there's a half time out of the game. There's a plus for the Eagles. Now capitalize on it. That's all you can do is make a difference for him out of the game. 47-47, 353 left in the game. Here comes Spencer McKee for the ball for the Eagles against Spencer Stewart. Right side, John Allen with the ball on the wing. Stewart is Garrett Johnson. Allen McKee, Spencer looks outside to Piper. Piper right side to Garrett Johnson. Now down low to John Allen, kicks it out. McKee, top of the circle, missed it. Rebound comes down to the corner, and it's out of bounds. Ball goes to the, I think Huggins Jared with a great job. Threw it off the Huggins, Colts will still have it. But you notice that Spencer took that outside shot, legs are a little tight. Well, I'm sure they are, Dad. He's having to do a lot of really running everywhere. And you'll find he's running everywhere. So he's not really, you know, a kid in threat. Sometimes he's going to make it. He's not going to be tonight. Spencer with the ball on the left side. It's John Allen Smith. Outside, Piper for three. Not the iron fifty. Boots. Cage and mouth. The Hulk. El Moreno now with the ball. And the Eagles are struggling from the field and it could be the fatigue factor. Left side to Lang. Lang outside. We talked about it in pregame. Outside, Myers with the ball. Looking. Now to Spencer Stewart for three. Yeah! Stewart hit a three way outside. Man, oh man, did he line it up. 50 to 47. El Dorado leads by three with 2.47 to go. Now low, John Allen. Down low, Smith. Suits it up. No good. He's fouled. And the foul is on who? I think it's going to be on Huggins. And that's the thing John Allen's got to do, okay? Get the ball in fight. Make sure he keeps a hold of it as strong as he can. Go to the board. Get fouled. Get the ball out. Huggins is second foul. We have a timeout, I think, for El Dorado. 2.39 to go. Wildcat 6. Eagles 47. We'll have a one
the bicentennial center, 50 to 48. John Allen hits the first and the second free throw, and it's a one-point game. 50 to 49, 238 to go. Will El Dorado go to the four corners? It looks to be like they are. As will be tough to defend. Fires outside. Outside it comes to Lang. Lang on the dribble, and El Dorado has decided to go to the four corners. They're going down, shoots it off the lane. He missed it. John Allen with a big rebound. Lights it up in the lane and missed it. And Colvin with the ball and down by one. Spencer McKee, two minutes and 11 seconds left. Outside, Piper with the ball, looking. Out of John Allen. John Allen outside, looking to Jerry, just Spencer McKee. Out of Piper. Piper looking. Outside, looking. Out of John Allen. Down low, the shot is. No! Don't go down. Boyd got back, had another three-point basket opportunity for Lane. He didn't get it, but he'll go to the lane to shoot two. Here's the thing, with Justin Lane has got the mismatch, okay? He's going up against number 12, Chad Lane, who is a couple inches shorter than Justin, and Justin's too big, too physical for him to be He's looking for his eighth free throw of the game with five and fifty. That shot by Lane is on the way. Count. Fifty-one fifty. Does this sound familiar? Russell and Colby in 1970. Colby won it by two. Fifty-one fifty. Colby here by one. Spencer outside John by Pat. Down to Outside Hunter John by John Allen. Hunter spins outside. End of the lane. Lost it all. Blue. Hunter got it back. Shoots it up and he got it. Hell the world and Hunter keep a hold of the ball, I'll never know. Fifth, fifth, fifty-one. Elderly number one. Outside Piper. We're down to 128 to go. John Allen outside to McKee. McKee on a drive down to John Allen. John Allen looks outside of Jared Johnson. Jared looking out of McKee. Spencer looking. Now to Piper almost threw it away. Piper on the dribble down. Look outside of John Allen. John Allen looking. Outside looking. And a timeout with 109 to go. In the game, the score, El Dorado 52, Colts 51. Let's take a one-minute timeout. You listen to the Eagle basketball. Let's take a one-minute timeout. Let's take a Comforting. Now, Colby keyed the ball and inbounded it. Justin Lane went flying for the ball. It's going to the defender. He fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. And the foul is on number 42, McBride. Now, this game that happened to go to overtime, two of their guys are on the bench with five fouls. That is something that the key, and also the key thing is that John Allen has played now several minutes. I think about three minutes or more with four fouls. Now, if it does go to overtime, he has got to be prepared not to get the fifth back. Wayne hits the free throw. He's five for five in the fourth quarter. Nine for nine since he missed his opening free throw of the game. Looking for the next one. It's tied at 52. Wayne puts it on the way. It is up. It is perfect. 53, 56, holding. Lead by one. Spencer still into the ball. In the backcourt. Look to the coach, Nelson. Stewart across the timeline. Outside, got the by Puck. Stewart, look, drives down. Down on the baseline underneath. Lang picks it up, got it on the baseline. Nice move by Lang. On the baseline. 
Ford is shot. Here comes the key down the floor. And Stoughton is fouled as he goes into the lane. And Stoughton gets the foul. Foul for Stoughton. Puts it. 54 63. It's going to be a one and one. No, it's a two shot opportunity. That was the 10th foul of the half on El Grado. So here's just two. Spencer's got 10 to the line. He's an 83% free throw shooter. It's 453 El Dorado by one. Yeah, here's the thing, that if the Eagles, if he makes both of these, they've got to get back now on defense, okay? He missed his first, so you're still going by one. You can call it up. Four to three seconds left in the game. You go down to the play tough defense. Make them work for this guy. Don't give them an easy bucket like they've had the last couple times. Got by Spencer Rattles in there, and we're tied at 64. With 43 seconds to go, Stewart with the ball. He has 22 in the game. You know, one shot, one shot, two seconds going, one shot. Whatever happens, don't find an easy chip shot. Outside lane, dribble down to the lane. Underneath, lost the ball. Got over the ball. Colts got the ball. And with one second, one, one point to go, 19 seconds to go. McKee with the ball. Ricky, look, time out. Colts with a timeout. With 14 seconds to go, Spencer back through and then Colts is going to call the timeout. We're going to keep it right here. 14, 54, 54. Coach Perry on top, looking at his top, and could be out there. Most great shot. There's nothing you can lose here, Donald. Take his eyes out. Eventually, he's going to overtime. They have two of their guys. We're okay. It's interesting. They have got to get out of the place for the Eagles to win to get an easy kick out of it.
Walker. Thank you. 